Hello, what we're going to do here is take this mold part that we have and do some draft analysis on it. So we're going to start by flipping it over to see the underside here. And we're just going to make sure that we have uh, some draft angle on all the inside here. So to do that, we're going to go up here to the analysis dropdown and then select the draft analysis option. And we're going to just select the body right here and confirm it. And then over here on the right, we can set our own angles. So I'm going to be looking for anything basically that has between zero and half a degree of, an, of draft angle so that I can add a little bit more. Um, so if I go and then update the graphics here, you see it colored the uh, part based on the colors I have here at the different angles. And right here, you can see this dark color corresponds to this zero here, so it's saying it's between zero and a half a degree. So on each of these edges here, as well as over here, I'll need to add some draft angle to it. So one of the options I have to do that is I can close out of this analyzer and then using the in the modeling menu the add draft by um, edges go through right here and select this top edge and then we'll just reverse the direction here and we'll add one angle right here. In preview you can see it adds the one angle right there. Hit OK. So now I've got one angle on this side here and none on this side. So now if we go back in and reselect the draft analysis, choose the part again, and update the graphics, you'll see that while this side, this side, and this side are all still flagged as needing draft angle, the side that we added a little bit of uh, the one degree angle to no longer has that, and so that's how you add uh, find and add draft angles uh, in your part. 